Hello, welcome back to Algebra 1. We're going to continue learning about these equations that have two variables. So here's a weird looking one. x squared minus 3 times y squared equals 15. So it's an equation because we have an equal sign. And we have two variables. Yes, we have some exponents, but basically we have two variables. And the question is, is 4 comma negative 1 a solution? Yes or no? How do we figure it out? We plug the values in. x is equal to 4, y is equal to negative 1. We stick it in there. So we have 4 squared minus 3 times y squared, but in this case y is negative 1. Is this equal, we'll put a question mark, to 15. And if it is, that's a solution. Now 4 times 4 is 16, and then we have minus 3. We're going to do everything correctly here, and minus 3. Now the negative 1 times negative 1, negative 1 squared is positive 1 is that equal to 15? So we have 16 minus 3, is that equal to 15? What is 16 times 3? Uh, that's going to be equal to 13, and that is not equal to 15, so no. Um, 4 comma negative 1, not a solution. Okay? 4 comma negative 1 is not a solution. Now, let's go over here and try a different one. Let's say negative 4 comma positive 1. Is that a solution? Yes or no? All right, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to stick the x value in, we're going to stick the y value in, we're going to see what we get. So the x value is negative 4 squared minus 3 times y squared, but this case is 1, and that's going to equal to question mark 15. Now if you're a clever student you can see that we're going to end up getting the same thing because in this case, we had the positive and the negative, but they were both squared. Here we have the negative and the positive. They're both squared, so you're, you're going to end up with the same thing. You'll have 16 minus 3 times 1 equals question mark 15, and you can see that's going to be 16 minus 3, which is going to be 13, which is not equal to 15. So no, neither one of those is a solution, right? So even though we're not getting the solution, we're not you know, we're not, uh, we haven't solved this equation to tell you what the correct solution is. This, this lesson is more about ver verifying or validating if you have the correct solution or not. And the way you do that is by plugging things in. We have one more here. The interesting thing about this one is, you'll see, uh, we're going to have some fractions. So 3x minus 4 times y equals 11. That's our equation. The question is, is 1 third comma negative 5 halves a solution. Now, just because we have fractions here, don't worry about it. This is the x value, this is the y value. There's no way around it. You have to plug those values in to see if it's a solution or not. So, 3x minus 4y, 3x, where this is, uh, x is 1 third, uh, minus 4 times y, where y is 5, or I should say negative 5 halves, and is that equal to question mark 11? So we have to start looking at this in, care, in careful detail. We have 3 times 1 third, 3 on the top, 1 on the bottom, so we can cancel the 3's, which basically means we're left with 1 right there. That's what we have. And then we look over here, we have negative times negative, so we know that's going to give us positive, but as far as numbers go, we have 4 and 2, so we can, we can get rid of these by dividing by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So let's go down here and write. The first thing we have here, the only thing left is just a 1. Then we have negative times negative, which means this is going to be positive. And all we have left is on top 2 times 5, so we'll write that as 10. Make sure you understand that. Is that equal to question mark 11? Well, 11 is equal to 11, so yes. The uh, ordered pair 1 third, that means x is equal to 1 third, y is equal to negative 5 halves, uh, is a solution. So you have to be careful. You have to understand the fraction multiplication and, and the cancellations going on and things. And negative times negative gives you positive. So you have to do some work. But really, it's just a matter of plugging it in and finding out. Now let's check another one. Let's see if is uh, 5 thirds, negative 5 thirds, comma, uh, negative 4, is that also a solution? Yes or no? There's no way you can look at this and just say yes it is or no it isn't. You have to do the math. So. Let's plug this in for x and this in for y. What we're going to get, 3x minus 4y. 3 times x, negative 5 thirds, uh, minus 4 times y, which is negative 4. Is that equal to question mark 11, yes or no? Now we look here at the first one, we have a 3 on the top and a 3 on the bottom, so we can immediately cancel those. And all we're going to have left 
is negative 5. Here we have negative times negative gives you positive 16. 4 times 4 is 16. Is that equal to question mark 11? And you should be able to say that negative 5 plus 16 is 11 equals 11. Yes. So we say negative 5 thirds comma negative 4 is a solution. All right, so make sure you understand this. Um, we have the concept of what a, an equation is with two variables. And then we have the concept of verifying or validating if you have the correct solution. We're going to do some more problems similar to this in the next lesson, but ultimately where we're going is we want to be able to find the solution to these equations. And there's a bunch of techniques to doing that, and so we'll be uh, tackling those as we go through the course.